Hello every hello everyone to Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. And today I have a special airplane for y'all today. It's a recreation of the one and only airplane from Chicken Run. You know that classic movie that isn't made with CGI. Oh great. I bet the picture quality will look like complete and total garbage here. Now there's, now just know this, I do not have a capture card. Or really any way to record on my computer. So until then, I have to rely on old tricks. And I still have this one recording stand that I'm using. Did you know it's the same one that I used for my Sonic 1 review? But this one is... Uh, but this one recording stand has gone through some changes over the years anyways. Now on to the recreation. I put some egg shooter into the back so I could literally attack from behind like in the movie. You know, when the rats had to fire the eggs. The wings can't flap though, and I'm still am disappointed on this. And the reason why I did this is because I am always being annoyed by that little sound. If you have played nuts and bolts before, you know the one. The propeller sound. Not the biggest fan of it. And I'm pretty sure it's a little accurate to the movie. Not completely 100%. This is nuts and bolts after all. And I have to be within a block limit, and I have no idea how to make the wings flap. The wings can somewhat flap like this. It does not work with holding the button down. This is as close as flapping I can get. And yet that makes the vehicle control like complete and total garbage. Oh, and also, I put in a little something extra. I put in a gyroscope. The gyroscope is there mainly so I can do this. Really? I normally like to keep it on that one thing, but anyways, I have been controlling it for a while, and this is not the first version of it. In fact, it, it used to handle worse, and the air handles like a normal old airplane unless you're trying to do the wing flapping thing. But on the ground, it can do something that in the movie it could have never have done. Actually, drive like it's a car. And I have tested this thing in the testing room. And the ground controls are okay. But everyone in an authentic movie feel you can have the propellers spinning. And Banjo is the pilot, obviously. You should try watching the movie to see how accurate I am. But anyways, time for the layering. Okay, for the layer part, I can just state. Here's layer one. one. And layer two. I know it can be difficult to see from all the perspectives. But I can just state. It's way better than having two guests. While I can just state that there will be commentary over this. Unlike in Grim Grindle. You should definitely see their video on the hyperdrive glitch. Um. Yep, 
seems an accurate placement to me. Yeah, from here on out, I know that the placement will be accurate. What? Oh. Uh, you can see in that corner what all the pieces are. And right now, my own arm is seriously feeling like it's being strangled. You ever get that feeling in your arm at just pure random? And plus, there's a better view of the driver's scope. You probably are wondering on why I'm doing this. Well, because, well, I simply wanted to share this. And the reason for this layering part is so you can also have experiences with the things that I build. Just like how I'm planning on doing a tour of my own Minecraft world. It's kind of like how... Yeah, when you're always are feeling tired. And then the final layer is just here. This is the most recent adding. And mind you, the thing will change a little. It's a guarantee. And there it is, how to build it for yourself. But just so you know, it is subject to change. And it uses no real glitches, unlike in the next build I'm going to show. In fact, I'm going to be revealing everything I built in Nuts and Bolts. I'm serious. Where I'll have to do the thing deciding whether or not they deserve to be deleted or kept. For later future helpings. While well, you can see how many parts are used over there, the weight of the thing is surprisingly high. I don't even use, well, that many, if any, heavy blocks. And I made sure to stick to the lightweight material. The ammo is sensible, there is way too much fuel, and it... I thought that speed was much lower. Well, anyways... Have a wonderful day or night time or whenever you're watching this.